Hello and welcome to the talk room. I'm Bansi Kalapa. With me is Justice Patil, who's taken over as the Lokayakta. Well, Justice Patil, first of all, you have a mighty task ahead of you. There have been very many complaints about corruption and misgovernance. So, how do you look at the canvas? Do you uh, do you think the Lokayakta is sufficiently empowered to fight corruption? Yeah, the provisions of Karnataka Lokayakta Act and the Prevention of Corruption Act together provide a very vast machinery to tackle this menace. And uh, only Karnataka Lokayakta Act would not uh, help you to fight against uh, corruption. Mm -hmm. But now after the judgment of the High Court, uh, we have uh, the duties and responsibilities under the Prevention of Corruption Act also. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lokayakta police have been designated as police stations Absolutely. throughout the state mm -hmm. in different districts. Now, if a complaint comes, alleging act of corruption against a public servant, the police will police wing will register the case, start investigation. Okay. And what is important is to make our institution fully equipped okay. to conduct uh, investigation in an expeditious manner, okay. skillful manner, mm -hmm. with all uh, uh, advanced technology, so that the culprit is brought to book. Okay. One issue that has really uh, concerned the members of the public, who are your really your complainants, is the rate of conviction is still abysmally small. Even in red-handed traps, not more than 30% are convicted. So many of the complainants have openly complained to the Lokayakta about it. Your opinion on that? See, most of the cases where these uh, traps, in cases of traps, mm -hmm where uh, they are caught red-handed, money is recovered, okay. but still they go, they are, uh, they are acquitted by the courts, okay. it is because of either the complaint in turning hostile, mm -hmm. because he has lodged the complaint, he is the person who has to speak for demand being made for illegal gratification, mm -hmm. and the accept acceptance of it, because he is the mm -hmm. Eyewitness, he has set the law in motion. Absolutely. He himself retraces. Absolutely. He himself lets us down. Mm -hmm. So the courts in such circumstances say mm -hmm. this is a very important lacuna in the in the, the, in the, in the uh, trial. Yeah. And therefore the that person gets the benefit. Okay. Also, another uh, criticism that is pointed out against the local actor institution is that the high and mighty are not really touched. For example, a certain uh, inspector, police inspector, Nandish committed suicide, allegations were made. But in such cases, the higher-ups are not really touched, the you know, issues are not really taken up. Is that a valid criticism? No, I don't think it is uh, correct to make a criticism like that. Mm -hmm. Because you have to first file a complaint, mm -hmm. produce material, mm -hmm. pursue the complaint, mm -hmm. and then take it to a logical end. Okay. Some people file a complaint and do not pursue it. We call upon them to produce evidence. Okay. They don't produce it. Then how do you proceed? Whether he is a, a, a government servant mm -hmm. or a, an elected representative or a minister, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter for us. Absolutely. What we need is specific details of the complaint, mm -hmm. evidence in support of it, either oral, documentary, whatever it is, then the guilt will be proved. Okay. So if that is lacking, uh, then criti criticism for the sake of criticism, mm -hmm. Uh, is not uh, 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 is not uh, a welcome thing, but yes, if there are cases like that, if there is, a, we can bring it to our notice. We can work on it. We can, if there is any any such error anywhere, it can be corrected. Okay. My last question to you is: in the case of certain complainants, the entire system tries to victimize them. For example, a certain complainant in X department, Y department, later complains that the entire system, government machinery turns against him in certain villages, certain places. Has it come to your notice? Can you address it? Yeah, we addressed that in the uh, recently concluded uh, uh, training program. Mm -hmm. What happens is a person files a complaint alleging corruption. Absolutely. Because he, he wants his katha to be changed. Mm -hmm. Demand is made, illegal demand is made. Mm -hmm. So he comes to us, lodges a complaint, we lay a trap, and he is caught. Mm -hmm. But his work is not done. Absolutely. And it continues to be there. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, what is necessary is 
we have to ensure that his work is got done and he feels validated even though i have lodged a complaint the my work so far as change of kata legitimate work which i demanded from them that is not ignored and the lokayukta institution has helped me to get that work done in accordance with law if that uh, uh, confidence is generated in him he will come to us he will say sir i will give you evidence i will come to you i will i will see that the truth is uh, truth comes out okay thank you so much there it is justice patel speaking to the indian express saying that we will try to make a change only the coming days will show how effective the institution of lokayukta has been because like he himself says there have been very lofty predecessors like justice venkata chala like justice santosh shingde and many others so how will the institutions how will this institution work in the coming days remains to be seen with camera person nagraj gadekar this is bansi for the talk